guys welcome to my haul video with all the amazing things I have picked up in um, trip last week to California all the incredible shops I've been seeing online and um, just just kind of blew my mind as you can see I ended up having to buy <laughs> another bag and a little bit more baggage but I'm just going to say that it was worth it I've got I know it looks a little bit like chaos but I've grouped everything together and where I bought it from and just sort of thought I'd go through and show off some of my treasures and talk a little bit about how much they cost and where they're from and things like that just for those who are interested um, and you know also what I plan to use them for um, we'll start I'll just start over here this is um, a, a nice simple one because this is all from the Dollar Tree so um, there are so many great Dollar Tree YouTube videos online and I was really keen to get in and have a look I picked up these wee doors here um, obviously for, for one dollar um, they are a nice size, pretty sturdy decorations, but also this year they'll have a specific purpose um, in my little cabinet for that I'm doing for a little display. And these ones here, the always snowman hats. Uh, rather than decoration, I pulled the the top off. They are actually going to go on some. Uh, gifts I'm planning to do for some people which are like uh, snowmen so they'll have two, two like a body and a head and a little jaunty hat I was going to make some hats but I thought well I'm seeing these are a dollar and <laughs> just save myself a little bit of effort there um, I picked up some of these some larger stars sorry um, snowflakes not stars um, they're foam and and cut those ones out just for um, a little bit of background on Winter Wonderland theme and these ones here I'd, I'd seen a lot and I actually am super impressed with the quality of them for the price they are sturdy they um, are, you know they just feel like nice quality and certainly comparable to a lot of the other things I saw in a lot of other shops for a lot more than a dollar. Um, the other thing I got was some silver deca mesh. Uh, it's not a huge amount of roll. It is five yards. I've got no idea what the conversion on that one is, but um, again, uh, price point meant that uh, it was a good buy. The other, the next place I went to, or the next lot I've got here is um, a wee trip to Walmart. I'd seen huge amount of Walmart stuff online and I was so buzzed to get there but potentially it was an older one and they just didn't have a huge range at all but it could have been a little blessing because I was rapidly running out of room and probably if I'm being honest uh, budget <laughs> uh, so these uh, wee baubles here were a dollar and they're very light but um, great on the Candyland tree that's where their home is um, that course is going on the same tree it I thought I'd just sort of use it as a foundation of my topper and and maybe do some building on it um, it's not a huge one but I thought it looked great little little rangy tucked in there again it was a dollar and um, I also did pick up a small Star Wars decoration from there which was seven dollars which I haven't got um, and the other thing I got from Walmart was for was a sorting hat, an animatronic sorting hat for the top of my daughter's Harry Potter tree. So uh, that retails in New Zealand for about hmm, eighty dollars. It does go on sale, but um, but it was I think I got it for fifteen US. So I was pretty pretty pleased about that. Um, just sliding across here is my items from CVS these we uh, gingerbread men in the cups were 
three, uh, four, sorry, four dollars each, and I just thought they were so sweet. And there was quite a few different gingerbread items, but these caught my eye the most. And then oh, I've got Charlie Brown. Look at Charlie Brown. Isn't he cute? Charlie Brown Nutcracker. And I just really liked. I like the just love the variety of Nutcrackers over there. So I did pick them up. They had a Snoopy too, but um, yeah, Charlie Brown just caught my eye. <laughs> and the other one, the other things I wanted to show off were these little beet neck felt mice. They were certainly a little bit of a um, a little bit of a one of those sort of purchases that I sort of just made off the cuff because they were not cheap. They were eighteen dollars US each, but you just got to check. I mean, the little coffee cup and the beard. Oh, they're just so gorgeous, and they have got a real purpose as well. They've got they'll be in a couple of displays, and I just thought they would be just so unique and and fun um, just from a wee gift shop that we passed it was mainly a clothing shop but they had a few things out so um, yeah stoked to find those they're so cute okay so this wee lot was souvenir ornaments from Universal and Disney this guy here of course from Universal from Springfield little duck beer he was 13 so not too bad in relation um, and I also picked up this one here. He has got a light. Oh, hang on. Here we go. So the year shines through. Um, I I do like having the decorations with the year on them. Just when I'm old and dottery and I kind of remembered when I went. Just nice to have that. Um, this one here. Um, I'm going to post a video of the Disney Christmas ornaments and Christmas um, selections. There are some absolutely beautiful ones. I, I really did go back and forward um, between quite a few, but this one kept bringing me back with just the gorgeous colours and um, also those indentations, that sort of vintage feel. Um, he was 28, so definitely on the top range of what I was looking to do, but again, it's just that beautiful ornament that hopefully I'm not going to break and will have for a long time. Um, so I'm really, I am pleased to have purchased him. Um, the other one I got from Universal, this is for the Harry Potter tree, was Dumbledore. If you, and he, it's just like a portrait and he moves. I, I just kind of couldn't resist it. And um, certainly came with a price tag of 25, but I just sort of thought, well, I'm not going to see anything like that again. Um, or it might, but anyway, I did, of course, make that we purchase. Um, and these ones on the memory tree, or there are, you know, it's just such, a, it's so nice just to have that tangible um, memory of such an amazing trip. So, yeah, I'm really happy with those. I found this little shop in Santa Barbara and I don't remember what it's called but if I can find the details I'll pop it down in the um, information below. Oh, it's absolutely just the sweetest place. Um, lovely, lovely options including lots of felt animals which I have such a little thing for. I fell in love with this guy with his little wreath here and his gorgeous face. He was around 10. This one here, the snowman, was just so unique and different to anything I'd seen before. He almost feels like a, he's not, he's not heavy, but um, quite solid. And just a really, really lovely original um, face, including just look as, oh, so sweet with his little pink cheeks. And the other thing I picked up was this wee pet's house. I think actually it does light up. Um, no, maybe it doesn't. No, you can put a little light in the back. He was 34. So a little bit, um, I spent a little bit um, of money there, but just because I just thought everything looked so original and was beautiful. And it was 
just really nice to kind of find some stuff out of outside your mainstream um, shops so yeah very very pleased with those ones five below is um, a wish shop that I'd seen online on YouTube um, and I did pop into there unfortunately when I went in I'm not sure if it had gone just sold a lot or there just didn't seem to be a lot of options but I did pick up some of these donuts they're only a dollar each they're very very light um, for my daughter wants to put a little tree in her room donut theme which of course I'm very much in support of and this little haul here is all from World Market. Looks like a little bit of mess, I'll just sort through. Um, the Nutcracker mug is a lovely, lovely good size. And it was eight. I might use him to put a tree in. Um, not too sure. So we'll see what happens there. Um, these wee lights were... $15 but they were half price when I was there. I wouldn't have paid $15. I haven't got any batteries but they do light up and I just kind of like the style of them. A little bit of a vintage bulb. Glass ornaments they had a huge selection. Picked up for one there for soccer tree and the beer and this wee retro style arcade game which I thought was really sweet. Favourite purchase there has to be a Queenie. Look at her. She is fabulous. There's quite a few different ones. They different countries. They had, I think, a guy making pizza for Italy. And yeah, it was great. They had such a cool selection. And a sign about the back, the candy cane sign. That was five. And a couple of the felt things that I like so much that is a little guy to go snorkeling of course I just couldn't resist him and I also did get a little flamingo he was five he's very very light and paper mache the other things I picked up there were nut, oh, nutcrackers they were two for six and I liked that they had different themes we had a baseball one here and a palace guard, a little pizza maker, and the last thing I got from the, the from World Market was a little paper mache elephant with the colours just for a very colourful display that I'd like to do, so that was perfect for that. Alright, I'm losing a little bit of light, so I'm trying to get go through things. I went into, actually, ended up going to three different targets. Um, the first couple that I went into just had bitsy sort of, um, I've got some footage which I'll post on a Shop With Me video as well, um, but a little bit, um, just not a huge range and I was like, okay, but the third one I went to was was excellent, it had, it had everything, so um, let me go through. They had lots of the $3 ornaments. These were absolutely my favourite. These I love the colour. I love the vintage reindeer look. And so I ended up getting, I got three of those. But there, keep them all together. A couple of these doors. And the date on which I do like, just as that special memory. Um, Mrs. Claus, I absolutely love Mrs. Claus. She's actually quite hard to find. <laughs> I have fine decorations for Mrs. Claus. I don't know why. She's very important in the um, North Pole. Very vital. Um, that one there, I've got like a tealy tree that I'm doing. And um, I just kind of like that vintage, that vintage look as well. He was three. Uh, another three dollar one is my wee felt friend on but some very small skis actually but um, however I do like the earmuffs they're my favorite bit and last three dollar item was just a wee gnome this is some colors that I'm working on for a future display so I grabbed him 
And the five dollar one, they had they had quite a few ones, and no, noticeably better, different quality, I guess. A um, couple of beer themed ones, Holiday Brew. Those look you know, nice and sturdy, actually. This one, a wee bird, and I had seen this from 2018, so I obviously brought it back, but this one was the very last one that I was in the shop, so um, very popular, of course, and extremely sweet. And I also have this one here in a mailbox for five, lovely and sturdy. I'm sorry, I did, there's another three dollars, this was three dollars for the two. A teal, I don't know if that color is coming through, but it's actually quite a nice, not quite teal, but it's um, a nice blue. They have in Target, these are so light and very sturdy, but some character themed ornaments. And I did pick up Harry Potter tree, and I do have a Star Wars tree, I'm not sure I'm putting it up this year, but for future, I like to Dumbledore a lot. So I've got R2-D2, I grabbed this guy too, little Darth Vader with his little hat, it doesn't look very menacing. And they were all seven. Um, I found, and only one target, there's a few different nutcrackers, these ones here, Mr and Mrs, I will see, thanks target for showing a bit of Mrs Claus action. They were ten for the, the pair, and this guy here, the countdown here. And again, he's actually got, it's hard to read, but he has got 2019 at the bottom. He was 10 as well. And in the dollar spot, I've got a couple of signs. And made with love, gingerbread baking. Obviously, just a little kitchen display I've got. And then Mrs. Claus Cookies Company. So $3 each, very good price. I did pick up this too. This is, it hasn't got any batteries, but it's a sort of snow globe look, but it's an air blown one, so nice and light. He was 15, a little bit pricey, but um, the other thing I got, this is for my Christmas desk display this year for at work. Um, again, it's seen them in 2018, really wanted to pick it up and was a little bit uh, disappointed to see that it had gone up $10 from last year. It was 25 last year I'm sure it was 15 but anyway um, I decided to go ahead and get it and listen it's so cute hello this is Prancer me and the guys are all out stretching and flying loop-to-loops to get ready for our big night see you soon and it's got quite a few different um, greetings let's see what this one is Yeah, so I, I just I had to get that for my desk display. So I'm going to pan out a little bit. There's some other sort of haul items in here because I'm trying to do just a big, big one in total. Um, so yeah, I, it, I'm glad that I went to the different ones because it really just showed me that um, not every shop has got a full range. Um, and so it's worth just having a look around. But in particular... I thought I was pretty impressed with the three dollar items. Um, I love and so glad to have picked up these. Um, it'd be a great addition to uh, the character trees um, and of course um, your things like the phone and the air blown snow globe which will which will be a favorite with the kids as well. Check these out. Amazing. Just so pretty. They were from Aldic Home which was just an incredible experience shop. It just was just beautiful and so many lovely things. And this is like a minty green. These were $9.50 each. Um, and I grabbed three. They are shedding a little bit of glitter, but I definitely forgive them. Um, just really like almost like a, I don't know what you'd call it, into our oh, foxtail is what's on the description there but yeah these were just lovely I wanted to pick up something that was a little bit more of a um, like sort of something I could keep and have a, 
a, a memory of you know, the store and it was just such a great experience. So I ended up getting this little guy. He was 15. He is a beautiful, just beautiful quality and lovely and light. He can be bent. Um, and look at the, just the quality on his costume. It's just so cute. So yes, he, he was a must for me. And I also picked up from there a couple of little vintage style glass ornaments. Here's Mrs. Claus. I think it's Mrs. Claus. We'll go with Mrs. Claus. A little cat there doing a little bit of baking. She's a busy lady. And the other one I picked up from there was this guy, Uncle Sam. Just a nice wee trip. Um, Memory, well, a you know something for the memory tree, a little bit of America to to keep to keep in New Zealand. Here is my wee haul from Michaels, which I was just so excited to go to, and you can just imagine how thrilled I was when I walked in, and there were signs everywhere to say that um, Christmas decor was half price, so. It really was um, literally Christmas um, when I went through. Um, I, I had a lot of nutcrackers, which really just different ones, great ones. Um, my husband plays golf. My mother is a golf fanatic. So I had to get this wee guy here. Uh, he was 20, so he was down to 10. And check this guy out here. I mean, he was just a must-have too. What well, astronaut? He's got his wee ship and his wee flag there. And of course, he was ten as well. So I was really happy with those. I grabbed a few wee items here. They had lots and lots of picks. Um, some gnomes. They two dollars down to a dollar. So just nice to pick those up. And the donut ones were, I think a little bit more, I think they might have been three or even up to four down to sort of a dollar fifty to two dollars each. So I liked them. Good colours as well. Little elf on the shelf costume. Donut worry, be happy. No, be naughty. Mm -mm. So I ended up getting that for um, just a little Put on a little elf for my daughter's tree as well. Yet another bear ornament, lucky hubby. This bear tree is going to be very interesting. Um, a little bit of an able there. He might just keep looking at the bear tree and like psychologically instantly start wanting a bear, but anyway, that's okay. <laughs> it's Christmas. This one here I found um, just one of. He sort of just tucked away um, which of course I had to grab but he's got he's got a few marks but I'll give him a clean I just just thought he was just beautiful um, four, he was 14 actually so seven in the sale um, but just gorgeous that vintage look is just I just can't I can't resist it <laughs> so I picked that one up um, grabbed just a wee soccer ball, some glitter on him, um, I believe probably, I think that was four or five, some Lenex items, that was 40% off, this one here, the balloon ride, it was 45 US, 40% off, so I think it went down to about 25, um, which was a really good price for him, there he is there. Just kept trying to make the most of a bit of light before I can finish filming. And also grabbed a couple of little guys. So here he is putting the lights on. And there's Santa checking his list. I have a, like a vintage TV that that I've ordered online. It arrived, unfortunately it was it was smashed up, so um, I was able to get a refund for it and now I sort of just want to fill the TV with a little scene, so I thought I'd use maybe some of these items. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I'll continue working on that. Um, some signs, 
merry and bright great colors this one here have a jolly holiday with a very sweet wee vintage you looking reindeer um, that that sign there was I think it might have been even as much as 14 but seven of course half price that one was 10 this one here I believe was also I've taken the tags off and that might have been that was eight yes um, are we just a wee arctic animal for winter wonderland he was six down to three this guy here who i just oh look look at his little slippies just so adorable he's got his cookie he's got his hot chocolate he is going to bed but his face is just irresistible he was 30 down to 15 so uh, he's just a must-have for me and at the back is probably my favorite bits um, this Santa Claus is coming to town was 25 so 1250 so oh, just the colors are just amazing and um, it's like a tin just lovely so I just was thrilled a mailbox here uh, it's got a magnetic open so if I want to clear there it's got quite a if you can see it's got, got a I hope that it does wear okay because it does have that vintage -y look to it and I know that it's purposely distressed but I'm just hoping that it just wears okay that was 40 down to 20 in the sale and this guy here a little window pane isn't he absolutely Let's see if I can just make bring him out he was also 40 down to 20 just gorgeous so thrilled with my experience at Michael's it was just amazing I truly could have spent double what I spent and double the time there but so we were running out of time a little bit. I think I ended up spending, I think about 160 US in total, but um, just thrilled with the pieces I bought. And of course, being half price, mostly, mostly everything was half price. Um, really did feel that I, I got great value for money there. So yay, yay for Michaels. This group of items was actually just over a few different shops, but they all seem to be under the same umbrella which was um, Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack um, so I've sort of just put them together but I'll just show where they were from um, they all of all of the shops that I went to um, and I, I did go to several different ones you know say two or three Rosses for example um, every place did have different things so I sort of got the feeling that if it was if you found it there um, just to pick it up because it might be very difficult to find it in fact one of the ladies behind the counter said exactly the same thing to me she said if you like something you've just got to get it because um, they just often sell out um, these trees I've picked up they are Martha Stewart trees they uh, light up. I'm just trying to bring up. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah. Look how sweet. And they three of those were ten. So I thought that was a really good price, especially for light-up ones. This one here I found from Marshalls and. Oh, so great. Great color. I'll just turn them down. And he also has, um, he'll have, hang on, zip. You're listening to BNN or Elf News Network. Scoop Yule Tide reporting live from the North Pole. The elves are positively overwhelmed by Santa's nice list this year. The past three years, the naughty list. 
wasn't that great. I just really loved the the news. I thought it was great. Okay, um, ribbon, some the edges isn't really as wired, so I'm hoping that it is. It does feel quite nice quality, but oh well, yeah, it's got some wiring in it. This was um, TJ Maxx, and that was eight. Um, it's quite quite a lot, so I like that print. I do like that black and white. Um, a few things like hand towels. They had a lot of homeware items. Those ones were from Ross. Um, so just nice to have some little towels. I've got a couple of Christmas parties this season, so just nice to kind of get that all done. Two stockings. So um, I usually make stockings for the family each year, but to be honest, it's just become a bit more of a burden, and now I've just got so many stockings that I've decided just to stick with stockings for everyone and... Um, and kind of grow from there so I grabbed these ones for my husband and I I liked the fact that they're different yet yeah, the coordination is there with the grey and the white and the red and they were they were from Marshalls and they were both $12 each um I'll just get those here yeah, they were great Nordstrom's rack Nordstrom rack had few different options, salt and pepper options actually. These little kissing guys, they were four. There we go. And nutcracker here. He was also four. So I'm pretty thrilled to, to pick him up. There's a couple of their little gl of glass ones. Um, they feel very flimsy, but they had a pack of four and that was at Ross pack of four for five dollars so that was I thought pretty good value and Marshall's had this guy here little Santa on his rocket ship uh, he was five but I think I like Santa doing different things <laughs> like driving a rocket ship of course uh, all I want for Christmas is you. I think it was just a couple of dollars, but I've um, got a few signs like this, so I just thought it was easy to add on that. It's from Nordstrom Rack. And this one here was from Ross. He was six. And that'll be perfect for my Santa's mailroom office. When I was in this beautiful shop called um, Waldick they had the most incredible ribbons um, and the prices were just I mean they were amazing amazing ribbons but some of the rolls were up to $150 each so a little bit out of the price range um, so I did find these um, in Ross it's got it has got like a velvet base and the style is not really something that I would have just gone full straight away but I had seen something similar in this this beautiful shop and I just thought well I'll give it a try um, and I just quite I picked up two of those so yeah just something a little bit different I guess for me style wise um, so we sent a he was five and he was from uh, Marshall's Uh, they had little packs of these, two of these. Hang on, this little friend here. These ones were. They were six dollars for the two. And the other thing I got was the FAO Swartz, Swartz Nutcracker. It's got a countdown, and I really thought he was lovely. He's got lovely, lovely details. Um, the sacred tree um, and just beautiful quality. He was from TJ Maxx and he was oh sorry, wobbly camera, he was 17. Nice and sturdy. That's a really nice one. The joy sign was only a few dollars from Ross. Oh, that might have been four dollars. 
is a great way sign to pop in and amongst. Um, TJ Maxx have this garland. And it's 16. But the felt garland I'd seen in other places were uh, definitely pricey, so I liked that one a lot, so I decided to pick that one up. And the last thing I purchased from this was from Nordstrom Rack actually and that was the sign it is a light up sign I haven't got any batteries at the moment but I've got the perfect place for it and ho 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 um, that one was 25 but um, as I say I just had the absolute perfect spot for it so I just thought that was a must a must a must have uh, I really, really enjoyed looking through those shops, the TJ Maxx, and there was just so many different things. I, I mean, my favourite, of course, that one there. That was um, uh, 25 that one, so I, I thought a great price. Really good prices, um, and I guess the only thing that I did sort of take away from, from it is that you really need to... Um, if you see something, just pick it up straight away. There's not much point in going away and think about it and coming back because it probably won't be there and you might not be able to find it somewhere else. So, awesome. Yeah, definitely, definitely want to go back there. <laughs> okay, so my last wee haul or shop that I picked things up was Hobby Lobby, um, which have an incredible range of things um, half price when I went in so that was just amazing um, just such a cool <laughs> it's a cool shop to be in um, some beautiful things so just a quick sort of overview of what I picked up there um, a mini tree topper in this beautiful bluey tealy color for a tree that I um, just sort of a top, a top of a display so um, that's just perfect. Um, they had a lot of different pick options and grabbed some snowflakes from two down to one. Um, these were perfect. Um, and also grabbed some candy themed ones too. These were a bit more expensive at four, but down to two. So um, just still thought they were a great price. They had some little signs. Christmas is my favourite. Sleigh all day. My favourite colour is Christmas lights. Oh, they're a little bit jangled. They're like a little tin. So um, they were four down to two. Some garland for snow theme. Quite a few other sort of snowy items, including. Snowball pom pom garland. That's another pick there. Some little polar bear. Some decamish. And a snowball tree topper there. That one was. Um, eight down to four. The snow, the polar bear came in a set of six. They were, um, that was eight dollars, so uh, down to four, great price. And the garland was twelve down to six. Um, I my only breakages I actually had, which was amazing, was some of these little glass soccer balls. They um, little mini ones. I ended up losing about four of those in, in the trip back but um, I consider myself extremely lucky that they were the only casualties um, which was actually really amazing. Um, Santa here, look at his pink cheeks and his little eyes. He was eight down to four, a little retro style, love him. The ceramic tree, something that I'd had my eye on for quite a while. Um, 14 down to 7.50, it's got a light up as well, 
and a sweet, sweet reindeer. Quite a tall one actually. It was 18 to 9. Have a cup of Christmas cheer and the instant snowflakes, the vintagey look on the signage. We'll go great into some displays and we've also got this one too, Christmas greetings, which was 15 to 750. Again, just love that that look. A few wee ornaments too. Some pretty pretty ones. These were down to two. And um, the green is exactly the colour of green I'm doing in one of my trees, so I grabbed a couple of those. Nutcrackers, I got three. That was a really hard choice, but I ended up going for this little kind of little gnome guy. Mm -hmm, it's cute. Cowboy and a shopping girl with her little leopard print. She's very very fashionable. Some bottle brush trees over here. I'm sort of now getting to the point where everything's everywhere, but hopefully you can see that okay. Bottle brush trees. The smaller ones were $2 down to one. The bigger ones were $5 down to $2.50. Some nice colors there. And the last thing I picked up, which I've been eyeing up for ages, is just this little TV. I need to put a battery, some batteries in there. Um, but I'm assuming that that train just sort of zips around. But again, a great just, just display item. Um, I spent probably about 120 in total. Um, so I was really, really pleased with what I picked up from Hobby Lobby and had a great time. The huge, 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 huge range. Um, felt like you could sort of just be in there for hours just looking around so um, fantastic experience loved it thank you so much for if you've made it to the end of the video <laughs> thank you so much for watching it is um, a very long one but I hope that you've enjoyed um, seeing the options the great cool things that I've been able to pick up and um, just just sort of showing the different prices and things which I always find really interesting because um, when you're not living in the States you're sort of like you know how much does things cost and you know the quality of things is really hard to gauge online so um, I hope that you enjoyed the video I cannot wait to get everything out um, in their home everything everything does have a purpose and um, a theme that it's going to be added to so um hoping to see everything sort of out in the next two or three weeks depending on sort of time but um thank you so much for watching and um i have posted a few shop with me videos and will be posting more um so please feel free to check those out or subscribe if you'd like to see some more thanks guys